Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a black steelhead stone fly. The hook I have in the vise is a 2457. This is a size 10. This is a curve shank scud type hook. And this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I have a three millimeter gold bead on there. The color of the bead is really up to you. I think gold goes nicely with this. I'm going to start by adding extra weight to it. I have 25,000 sled wire and I'm going to put about uh, somewhere around seven or eight wraps. There we go. We got eight. I'm going to push that up tight to the bead and we'll take the remainder off. Push that back there tight. I'm going to use a hot black thread. I'm going to start that behind the lead wraps and I'm pushing the lead towards the eye towards the eye or the bead of the hook secure that I'm going to take off the excess now for our tail I'm going to use black goose biots I'm going to just take two of them bend them like that put your finger in between there pull them off and there I have two of them we're going to use the natural curve of the goose biot to help us to split them. Get some nice long tail here. Gonna bring that down pretty far down around the bend. So you can definitely see that it's curved. Use that curve there. Take the other, we're going to put that on the other side. And when you rip them off like that together, you can see where they attach to the stem. So you can just line them up and you'll have two the same length. If you line them up with the previous biot, we have a nice divided tail there. This hook actually has a, a bit of an offset to it. Gonna bring keep that thread right behind those uh, lead eyes. Now I'm gonna take black wire. This is pretty heavy black wire and you can get this at the uh, at any store, jewelry making or craft store or Wally World. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this off. I'm gonna leave it on there. I'm just gonna put it back through this slot and leave it on there. Then I'm gonna tie this in. And I'm gonna secure this pretty tightly. Keep those wraps pretty tight. And bring this all the way down to the tail. And you want to keep it really tight, especially by the tail. And then I'm going to bring that thread back up. I'm going to take the wire. I'm going to wrap that. I'm going to rotate my vise. and keep this nice and tight. You can't really go fast because of the hook point. Let me keep that pretty tight and this wire is adding even more weight. Lengthen that bobbin thread there. I didn't use my cradle. I'm 
and you can see now that body is the length or the same width as the lead wraps. When we get up to the lead wraps, we're going to tie that off. Put several wraps there. And then we can helicopter that off. Make sure there's no sharp edge there for you to cut your thread with. Now I'm taking chartreuse. This is floss, and this is going to be our wing case. I actually have four, and I'm going to tie that in and fold it over so that I'll have eight. Wrap that on there. Make sure we get it on top. I'm going to fold that back section over. And you kind of want to flatten that out there a bit so you have a nice wide... See how it's much wider there. Now I'm going to take my Deer Creek Northern Lights Super Select Steel Fur. And this is black. And it has blue and gold specks in it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wax my thread a little bit. I need a new wax. This one is almost empty. We're going to dub that on. And we're going to go about halfway with our dubbing. Wrap about half the thorax here. Get that as tight as you can. I'm going to remove that little bit. Add a little bit too much there. Now I have four strands of black crystal flash. I'm going to tie them in on one side and then fold them over to the other. You can use three, four, don't think the steelhead are going to actually count the legs. We just want some flash coming out. Fold those over and tie them in on this side. Now I'm going to take some more of the dubbing and I'm going to finish off that head there. Hold back that crystal flash. There we go. Now I'm going to take our wing case. I'm going to fold that over. And you want to keep that flat. I got a piece of crystal flash in there. There we go. We're going to tie that in. Put a couple, three, four wraps on there and then put a few wraps right in front. I'm going to take that and trim that off. Now I'm going to put just a small pinch of dubbing on there. Very small. Then I'm going to whip finish it with the dubbing. those legs there so they didn't move. Pull that tight. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to trim the legs or the crystal flash. 
and these don't have to be the same size we have one short one there already gonna trim them long first then I'm going to dip, shorten them up take a little bit of the head cement put it right on that top section that soak in And here we have a black steel head stone fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.